increasingly isolationist president if you could please look at the camera. hosted by a Britain increasingly isolated in Europe. Grim scenes on the beaches. Another Franklin D. Roosevelt. Some will never return. Embrace these, Father, and receive them, the heroic servants, into thy kingdom. Let me first thank you sincerely on behalf of my nation. The French president's dean. Oh! I can imagine you in the garden. Bodies, and we picked up one. That, and I'm, I was a petty officer, not, I was a senior chap, so I had to sew him up for burial. So I searched his clothes and he had a picture of his lovely wife, she, she was a lovely girl, with two children. And I cried. And I, it affects me even now when I think about it, because I think, what the hell is this all about? Lady is heard joking, if I was 20 years younger. If I was 20 years younger. You can handle it, no question about it, replies the president. <laughs> On the eve of the D-Day anniversary, when once this scene was a mass of troops, more than 150,000 across the coastline, waiting for that order to invade.